So in the previous in, uh, video, we programmed the drive current into a driver. But this is a dual drive designed for tunable white applications with two LED outputs. So imagine we're going to make a tunable white luminaire. We need to set up the driver in the correct way so the driver knows how to mix the right color. Therefore, we're going to use our light shape technology, which is inside the driver and inside our Fluxel application to make the right color mix for tunable white light applications. Patrick, can you go to the profile window and show me how to start? So first I go to profiles, which we created before. And now we're going to edit this driver. By default, the light shape is set to off. So first we're going to enable this. And then we start with the light shape engine. This driver has two channels, channel one and channel two. And if we're going to connect a tunable white luminaire, I want to connect my warm white channel to channel one. And my warm white channel is 2700 Kelvin. Okay, let's put it in here. Channel one, 2700 Kelvin. The channel two will be used as 6500 Kelvin. The, the LED output, so the luminous output power of the channel one is 1850 lumens at 550 milliamps. And I got that data from the data sheet. And the second channel is 2180 lumens at the same 550 milliamps. Then we have the system settings that basically defines which part of the gamut of the LED I'm planning to use. Okay. In our demo application, I want to use the full range. So I need to start at 2700 and we need to max to 6,500. And we also want to get the maximum possible brightness, which means that we need the target combined lumen output power of 1,850 lumens, because that's the lowest of the two channels. And now what's next? Then we are ready to generate the light shape profile. Okay. And then you would see that the actual drive currents are changed. So with a light shape application, you cannot define the drive current yourself, but the light shape application is defining the correct drive current based on the parameters that we filled in in the light shape settings. So make sure those settings are correct and matching the actual LED. In this case we did, the driver and light shape has calculated that these are the optimum drive currents for the driver to operate with this LED. Okay. Now we can save the profile and we can start programming it into our driver. So I connect the flux tool cable again, the LED code into the LED code port. So I will go to the programming and then select the right profile and press right. And after we successfully program this driver, we actually need to test it. But first we need to connect the luminaire to the driver to be able to test it. So, so let's, let's grab a luminaire and go for testing. Mm -hmm. 